Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to learn a little something about ellipses. Ellipses, by definition, are the set of all points in a plane whose sum is the distance from a fixed distance from two fixed points. So you can see uh, on my video, I have a blue and red line. That you got to think of as a string. That distance is constant. So I always kind of describe it as you've got two thumbtacks and a piece of a string attached and you drag a pencil around and draw an ellipse. So that's a constant distance whose sum is that fixed um, string length. Okay, now these are just characteristics of ellipses. Okay, ellipses have what we call a major and a minor axis. So the major axis is, of course, the longer one. Okay, and then the minor axis is the smaller axis. And you have a center where both of those axes intersect. So half of the minor axis is called a semi-minor and half of the major axis is called a semi-major axis and that's where these two terms come from. Then you've got what are called vertices. Okay, vertices are the points at the end of your major axis. Co-vertices are the points at, at the end of your minor axis. Of course, you have a center, and then you have these things called foci. There's two focus, two foci in each ellipse, and that is on the major axis. And that's where the constant dis difference, or the constant distance comes from, is the distance between these two foci, it creates this ellipse. And that's how kind of the parts of an ellipse. Okay, now this is just another way to look at it, but this time we're looking at variables to write our equations. Okay, we have three different variables, an A, a B, and a C. So A is the distance from the center all the way down to the vertex. So in an ellipse, A is always gonna be the greatest, okay? B, B is the distance from the center to the co-vertices. So it actually ends up being half of the minor axis. So there's our A and there's our B and A is always larger. C is the distance from the center to the foci and to one of the foci, I should say, um, one of the focus. And that is going to be less than A because it's on the same axis as A, but it's inside the curve. Now, you may see a little right triangle here. And yes, you're seeing correctly. There's a right angle here. The two sides of this right triangle are, a, are B and C, and the hypotenuse is A. And so that's going to come into play in a few minutes when we're trying to figure out what either B or C is. That will help us find those distances. Okay. So here is the equation of an ellipse that is centered at the origin. It's x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared is equal to 1. That's one of the two forms. And again, a is the distance from the center. I'll call it c for center to the vertices, to one of the vertices. Uh, b is the distance from the center to what we call the co-vertices along the minor axis, and C, that's the distance from the center to the foci. So those are kind of the variables you need to be comfortable with, A, B, and C. Now notice C is not in the equation, but you will need C to find the position of the focus or the foci. So let's look at this one, okay? So we have x squared plus y squared, and we have a 9 in the denominator and a 4, and it's always equal to 1. That's, that's another key. You've got to have your ellipse formula equal to 1. So in the standard form, we're going to look at a, b, or a squared is equal to 9. So if a squared is equal to 9, that means a must be 3. Now notice we're only taking the positive because if you take the square to both sides, you get a plus or minus 3. But we're looking at a distance, so distance always has to be positive. Then, of course, b squared, that's equal to 4. Therefore, b must be a positive 2. 
So we said earlier, we're looking only at um, ellipses that start at the origin. So let's plot our point at zero, zero. Now, we're going to count A in the X direction. So this 9 is associated with the X direction, which is our horizontal direction. So we're going to go over 3 to the left and over to 3 to the right, and that's the distance A. Then we're going to look at B. B is 2. B is our minor direction. So we're going to go up 2 and down 2 because B is 2. And then you can just sketch your ellipse by connecting these points. And boom, you have your ellipse. Now, you might need to know where C is. So to find C, what we're going to do is we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem, but it's not really the Pythagorean theorem. Because if you go back to this picture right here, remember this right triangle? We're using that right triangle where B and C this time are the legs and A is your hypotenuse. So we're going to look at A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared. So it's a slightly different. It's the same right triangle, though. It's, it's a right triangle. It's just A is your hypotenuse. Now, to solve for C, what we've got to do is bring that B squared over. So A squared minus B squared is equal to C squared. So now let's just plug in A and B. Well, A and A squared, B squared are right here in our formulas. So A is always larger. So 9 minus 4 is equal to C squared. So that means 5 is equal to C squared. So C must be equal to the square root of 5. That's what C is. Now we're going to have to estimate that because it's not a nice number. It's a little bit bigger than 2 because we know the square root of 4 is 2. So let's go over a little bit more than 2 on the major axis, and that's the position of our foci. And that's how we find those. So now let's write some coordinates. Okay, let's write the coordinates for these vertices. So my vertices, with this being at the origin, and with a being not a squared is 9, a is 3. We're going to go left and right 3, so we have plus or minus 3, 0 in the x direction. Um, the co-vertices, we're going up and down, so we're going to change the y direction. So it's 0, and then plus or minus 2 for those coordinates. Some people write those as two separate ordered pairs, and some people write it just as one like this, and that's fine. And then, of course, we now have to write our foci. So what are the coordinates for the, the two foci? Well, we're going in the x direction, positive and negative root 5, comma 0. And there are the coordinates that we need. Now, the major axis, let's go back and talk about that. The major axis is right here. Well, we went 3 to the left and 3 to the right, so our major axis let me write that down. Our major axis is equal to 6. Where do we get that? It's 2 times the length of A. I'm going to write 2A down just so to remind you that's 2 times the length of A. And then the minor axis, it's the one going up and down. Let's look at it. So it's going here too and here too. So that means our minor axis is 4. Okay, where does that come from? That's 2 times B. And that's how you find the major and the minor length of the major and the minor axis. So we have our vertices, our co-vertices, our position of our uh, focus, the major and minor axis, and we have a sketch. So there you go. That's how you graph an ellipse that has a center at the origin and it has an A value that comes first under your x squared. There'll be a couple more videos explaining a little bit more about ellipses. So this is just the first one. I hope this video was helpful.